Hi everyone, Reese here. This is Control Alt Reese, and in a bit of a departure from my usual video format, today we're going to be having a look at this USB microscope. And this isn't a uh, paid review or, or anything like that. Uh, this is something that I bought based on a personal recommendation. Uh, it was recommended to me by Pillock on the RMC Discord, so thank you very much, Pillock. It was an excellent recommendation. And the reason that I've decided to do this video is because uh, I used this microscope in my recent Atari Sparrow prototype motherboard video. And I've had a few questions from people asking specifically about the microscope, saying, you know, the, the, how did you get those close-up shots? And I think one thing that people have been surprised about was the actual price of the microscope, uh, because this was less than £30. It was £25.99, I think I paid for it, from Amazon UK. And it's a, it's a 1080p resolution. And it's just fantastic quality for what it is. So I thought I would just do a quick demo of it, uh, various functions, uh, some of the uses that I found for it, uh, just show what you get in the box and all of that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and just, just, just show off what it's all about, really. So we'll just have a look at what you actually get in the box. Um, of course, as you well know, I've already used this microscope and I've already taken it out of the box, so I'm not going to go through the rigmarole of boxing it all back up just so I can unbox it to do an unboxing video. Uh, that seems a bit silly. Uh, but I do still have the box here. I literally just took the microscope out of it, uh, left all the other bits and bobs in there because I didn't need them. So we'll just take a look at the accessories that it comes with. Um, you have a instruction, instruction manual, which I didn't even look at because it's uh, incredibly self-explanatory. Uh, a tiny CD that says endoscope on it, which to be fair, I think endoscope is probably a more accurate description for what this thing is. Uh, with a microscope, I would expect much higher magnification. Um, so yeah, perhaps I'll put microscope slash endoscope in the, uh, in the video title actually. And we'll just go through the box. Oh yeah. And the other thing that it comes with are some very interesting uh, medical looking attachments should you want to have a look up your own nose or in your own ear or in any of your other, other uh, bodily orifices indeed. Uh, this camera is IP67 rated so it is waterproof if you wanted to probe any damp areas with it. Quite. So <laughs> The box boasts uh, 200 times magnification. I haven't tested that. Um, I'm sure that's probably not true. Um, and also that it has a three in one plug. And I will just show you that plug because I thought this was really, really clever and I've never come across one of these before. So it has this USB, standard looking USB plug here, but then this part actually hinges open and that is a micro USB. But wait, there's more. It also has this adapter attached, which plugs onto there. And the cool thing is, I mean, I used my PC to record the footage in that video, um, but this means that you can actually use it with an, an Android phone. Obviously, it doesn't work with the iPhone. I don't know if it would work with an adapter, or um, but it only mentions Android compatibility on the box. And I have an Android phone. And here it is, my ancient OnePlus 3. So if we just plug this into here, I've already downloaded a generic USB. Let's... I've already downloaded a generic USB camera app for it. So we just unlock that. Do I want to open USB camera app? Yes. And as you can see, there it is. Uh, So pretty intuitive, plug and play. Uh, of course, the app that you use, uh, you know, the, the features that you get will depend on the specific app that you use. Uh, this one does streaming and, and motion detection and all sorts of stuff. It's just called USB camera. Um, I guess I'll put a link to that down in the description, but I don't, this, this app isn't specific to this particular model of microscope. So there are plenty out there. So we will have a look at some of the stuff that you can actually do with this thing plugged into a phone uh, in a minute and some of the, uh, the kind of useful um, applications I've found for it. But I think the first things first, we'll just have a look at the hardware. Um, it's very lightweight. Um, 
you know, it's, it's sturdy enough on this stand, which of course comes with it. Uh, lots of adjustability in that, so you can get a good angle just at what you're looking at. Of course, this does detach as well, should you want to uh, probe any anything with it. So the camera is focused just by turning this on the back, and I think probably the best way to show this off will be with a demo. So I'll plug this into my laptop. And as you can see, when it's plugged in, the end illuminates because it has these built-in LEDs. And the really cool thing about this is that you can change the brightness and even turn the illumination all the way off. So that's incredibly handy. And I will just fire up the camera app, which is built into Windows 10. I am informed that this also works with QuickTime on the Mac. And I'm sure anything that can capture input from a standard USB webcam will work quite happily with it. Um, VLC, uh, I've used a Bandicam just because I bought that years ago and can still have the, the lifetime license for it. So as I said before, focusing this thing is just a case of turning this on the back. So we can line it up, position it, point it at our subject and then just rotate the knob. To focus in, get a good close look at that. So there are wonderful MIDI ports on the Atari ST. Like I said, you can adjust the brightness. Uh, the auto white balance used to work quite well, actually. I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah, if anything, it's better at the uh, lower brightnesses. So yeah, that's a close look at that. We'll just find something else to take a look at. Um, so I've used this for close-up electronics work, obviously, which it's really handy for. Um, not just for making YouTube videos and, and if you're streaming that kind of thing on, on Twitch or whatever, but of course for inspecting stuff like SMD soldering, just checking for um, you know broken traces and all that kind of thing. Really handy just to get a nice close look at stuff. Uh, for something a little bit different, we will go with Mr. Imp here. And we'll just take a close up look at him. So of course, if you're painting uh, Warhammer models, maybe, or that kind of thing, uh, I imagine this would be incredibly useful. So you can just manually adjust the focus there. And there he's nice and uh, in shot, in focus. And if we wanted to get a much closer look at him, Just adjust the focus there. Um, and I think for something that costs £26, that's that's pretty that's pretty impressive. Um, I mean the scale here, we're talking, I mean how tall is he? Uh, I don't actually have a tape measured hand. Uh, he's got to be what, um, four centimetres, less than two inches tall maybe? Um, you know, we can get right in there. Just see the detail there. And then uh, adjust the focus accordingly. So really, really cool, and uh, yeah, it's a 2.1 megapixel sensor, so it's a native uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution, and uh, with that built-in light as well. So just get the light level absolutely perfect. Um, of course, depending on whatever app you use, video and still photos as well, perfectly fine for all of that kind of stuff. So just back onto the subject of tethering this to an Android phone. Uh, there are plenty of uses for it around the house. So I mentioned those medical attachments that come with it earlier. Uh, I'm obviously not going to stick this thing up my own nose or whatever for your entertainment. Uh, but this is our cat Tiff. 
our willing subject, or perhaps not so willing. Um, so I'm not actually using any of the attachments here. Isn't she cute? Oh yes. Little does she know what is about to happen. So I wouldn't recommend this if you're not a qualified medical professional or a vet. Um, but in, in a pinch, yeah, maybe if you wanted to see what the inside of your cat's ear looked like, um, it does a very good job. Of course, you need a willing participant. And as you can see, Tiff's not so keen on having uh, cold metal objects shoved into her ears. And I can't say I blame her. Another good use would be investigating leaks and block drains and that kind of thing. So we're just going to have a look down this plug here, this plug hole in my bathroom sink. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty disgusting. So you can just twist to focus. Obviously, live preview on the phone is incredibly useful. And uh, unlike more expensive endoscopes, of course, it doesn't go around corners, but it could uh, potentially be useful in that aspect for investigating that kind of thing as well. So in conclusion, a very useful piece of hardware at a very reasonable price. I will put a link to the Amazon UK product page down in the description. Uh, I'm not in the Amazon affiliate program, like I mentioned before, so I won't be making any money from it, but I just think it's a, a useful thing to have. Uh, and I was very impressed with it, so I thought I would share it. And also for the benefit of the people who have asked me about it since seeing the footage uh, in my previous video. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you found this review useful, please do uh, hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, uh, this isn't my usual kind of content. I usually do uh, retro computing and uh, retro gaming stuff and stuff like that. So if that sounds of interest, hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, if you have any recommendations, any questions, uh, want to talk about this thing at all in any, in any more detail or, or anything like that, um, please do leave a comment down below and I will definitely read them all and get back to you. So once again, thank you very much and hopefully see you next time.